very kind of you. I was going to milk it, but there was a staircase involved. <laughs> so then line between love and hate, so sang the pretenders. And it's as true today as the day that uh, the lovely Chrissy Hine put her golden vocals to that sentiment. That, that is still true. Thin line between love and hate. Let me, let me illustrate this in two final points. Now, take the uh, Feast of St. Valentine, that annual celebration of romantic uh, uh, um, commitment annual celebration of, Roma, uh, of uh, courtly romance. That's the way I want to put it, courtly romance. Uh, on the other hand, you've got the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. <laughs> 1929, Chicago. So, it's a thin line between. <laughs> I'm going to give you the bad side first. I'm going to get the unpleasantness out of the way now. Right, and then I'm going to leave you on a sweet loving note. Why? Because I'm a loving man. I like to do shit I'm saying? I'm going to get the unpleasantness right out of the way with this one. Now, it's my belief that every sentient adult in the world wishes to murder somebody. <laughs> That's why we have draconian laws against murder. <laughs> because everybody wants to do it. But you can't let that happen. If only from a hygiene point of view. <laughs> it's not be quiet. You've got to address that problem. But everybody wants to do it. You can't let that happen. And, uh, there's no point in making laws against things that nobody want to do anyway. What's the point in that? You just clog up the legal system with vexation litigation that uh, could go on for decades at the public expense, and we don't want that to happen. But murder, you've got to deal with that. Um, now it is, as I say, that person you, that you all want to murder, right? Individually, I'm speaking here. <laughs> the person that you wish to murder might change every decade, every five years, annually, biannually, quarterly, monthly, weekly, minute by minute, but there's always somebody you want to murder, right? And that's where I come in. It's a kind of shame, ladies and gentlemen, a shame. Think Jim Morrison, but sexy. <laughs> I want you to affix the objects of your homicidal desires into the crosshairs of your high-velocity collective imagination and hand it over to me. Yeah. And I'm going to deal with it through the harmless medium of poetry, like a shame, ladies and gentlemen. The title of this one appears on the very last line. Feel free to join in, like a shame. Okay, I'm not doing this at you. I'm doing it on your behalf. Bear that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. On your behalf. The title appears on the very last line, exactly like this. Like a nightclub in the morning, you're the bitter end. Like a recently disinfected shit house, you're clean round the bend. You give me the horrors. Too bad to be true. All the nights and morals are lousy because they knew you put the gun in scum. Thought, put the pain in Spain. Happy days are done for, and you're the one I blame. You're certainly no raver, commonly known as a drag. Do us all a favour here. Wear this polythene bag. You're like a dose of scabies. You're like a dose of. <laughs> I've got you under my skin. You make life a fairy tale. Grin, get it? A sumo wrestler's outfit got nothing on your shoes. She'll wear this to her outfit and that's twice as smart as you. I think about thrombosis. Every time we touch, 
I say you have a few halitosis, you say thank you very much, you're very pleasant, I know it's just a fact, your very presence makes me really mad, I hear you're not going wrong, my door, I've got to get out of town, I hit the lights, I hit the floor, I turn the TV down, people mention murder, the moment you arrive, I consider killing you, if I thought you were alive, you've got this slippery quality that makes me think of Flynn, and a dual personality, I hate both of them, your bad bread fancies is destruction too. Decay. Please, 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 please take yourself away like a death at a birthday party. You gotta spoil the fun like a substance, spats out smarty. You're no use to anyone like the fun of wet spider crawling in the shadows of disgrace. Speaking as an outsider, what do you think of the human race? You went to a progressive psychiatrist. He recommended suicide before scratching your bad name off his list and pulling in the way outside. Left her from the playground, great show bleeding. Her. You're heading for a breakdown, better pull yourself apart. Your dirt name is passed about when something goes amiss. Your attitudes are my attitudes, they make me want to piss. What kind of creature boy you? Was it some kind of bat? They can't find a good word for you, but I can. <laughs> hey, right on, Is this one, ladies and gentlemen? Prove in that, sir. Love is the winner. Have you seen that movie? The Night of the Hunter, Robert Mitchum. This here's the hand that struck the blow that laid his loving bones. Well, look at here, children. Love's the winning. And I'm going to prove that, ladies and gentlemen, this evening as I reaffix the night cravat of social justice. <laughs> and make good my uh, exit. I'm going to leave you on a sweet note, like I said I would, ladies and gentlemen. And this poem was written on the Feast of St. Valentine, directly from my heart to my loved one. And uh, it became and remains the wedding favorite of the 21st century worldwide. <laughs> That wonderful arrangement that uh, my friend Alex Turner uh, cobbled together is actually, you know, well, let's took it into, uh, I'm going to say it in one word, a billion streams. I can't make that enough, but my version goes like this, ladies and gentlemen. One for the ladies, directly from my heart to you. And uh, it's also the title of While well, I'm Getting in the Mood. It's also the title of my. Uh, it's also the title of my. Uh, um, my uh, memoir, my book of memoirs, also available on the way out. This is a title that's done very well for me. And I'm going to leave you with this, so it's running now. One for the ladies. My version goes like this. I want to be yours. Exactly after this fashion. Let me be your vacuum cleaner breathing in your dust. Let me be your nice marina and I'll never rust if you like your coffee hot. Let me be your coffee pot. You call the shots. I want to be yours. Let me be your raincoat for those frequent rainy days. Let me be your dream boat when you want to sail away. Let me be your teddy bear. Take me with you anywhere. I don't care. I want to be yours. Let me be your electric meter. I will never run out. Let me be the electric heater. You get no money or without. Let me be that setting lotion that grips your skull with deep devotion. Deep as the deep Atlantic Ocean. That's how deep is my devotion. A deep, 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 deep. I don't want to be hers. I want to be yours. Thanks for listening to this evening.